So we got a lot of anti-PK submissions today. I don't know what you guys are doing. You guys are going crazy with the anti-PK. Well, let's start here with Goose, who is chasing down a PKer who throws a desperate AGS spec to try to get him off. But Goose was ready with Vengeance, and they're both low hit points. The Darox came through, and the risk paid off. 19 mil. Not the biggest PK, but this one got a little weird. The guy that died and his friend swarmed Goose to beg for their items back because, quote, his wife hit the table. Uh-huh, I see. Unlucky. Next, Gil is minding his own business when a PKer comes down and attacks him. Vengeance with the Void Waker. And this guy was stacked 556 mil. That was a beautiful anti-PK. And it looks like our friend Goose is a little jealous because apparently the same guy tried to attack him and uh, yeah, he logged out. So we have a friendly rivalry between the top two anti-PKers in RuneScape. Nasty has found someone with huge risk in the deep wilderness. What is this shit? What is this shit? And then he just AHK'd that. He thinks the guy is cheating, but he decides to pursue anyway. Bro! Die! Sit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! God! 1.3 bill. And with the benefit of hindsight, we're able to rewind the footage and see if the guy was actually cheating. That switch kind of looks like cheating at first, but really it wasn't. I think this guy just wanted to go rush in max gear and thought he wouldn't die. And clearly he was mistaken. Not even halfway through the video and we've already seen two bill worth of anti-PKs. And there are more coming, so grab a Karam one, sit back and enjoy the show. And welcome to RuneScape Chronicles. Foe's having problems with group storage again. Wait, what? It's showing a placeholder next to the fang in his bank. But it gets stranger. Oh. Now it says we have two fangs in the storage. No, we actually do. Wait, what? No, we literally have two fangs in Curtis's. <laughs> no. I, I tell you, dude, what? The farmers are supposed to only have one Osmonton's fang, which famously was deleted by a bug in group storage before being returned to them by the J-Mods. Yeah, somehow they got an additional fang. Uh, Easiest grind uh, of our Curtis, lives. Curtis, put it in somewhere. Hide it. Hide it, bro. <laughs> Did, did you guys do all one this I morning and not tell weird, us? Bro. The old one got duped. It, it was in limbo the it, whole it, time. It came back. It actually was in limbo. But they didn't earn this legitimately, so they felt there was only one option. All right, see ya, extra thing. It's been fun. Well done to the farmers for setting a good example. Hey, at, the end, at the end of the raid, someone ran back and picked that up. Shit, while I'm here, hold on, hold on. While I'm here, let me log into my World 45 Deadman account. That's World 46. Let me log in on my World 45 Deadman account. I did not play the Deadman finale, right? Because I was away, which means I never died in the Deadman finale, which means I never lost any of my shit. And because I didn't actually die um, in all my tank tests playing the game, my account on World 45 has all my shit still. You know, I have the pirate hat, bro. I've got my Twisted Ancestral, I have my two mech and shadow, I've got my Missouri, I've got my Twisted Bow somewhere, I don't know, it might be in the deposit box. I've got my Scythe, you know, I've got my, my Twisted Bow, I have everything still, absolutely everything on World 45, which is pretty booming, so that's uh, kind of cool. I don't know the price of it, I don't even know if people buy it um, or anything in the game, but if I can swap that for a load of money, I might do it at some point. If you're really quick, you can pause the video and read the- oh, you're too late. <laughs> Uh, better luck next time. Goose here seems to be chasing a PKer that attacked him first. The Darox comes through. 200 mil just for fighting back. This goose is incredibly dangerous. Beware. You're rewarded on the first raid back? Okay. Lake is back and it's actually a purple. Yo, imagine the staff on the first raid back though. It might as well be, right? All right, we are missing uh, Staff, Chaps, and Ward. One of those is not like the others. And one of those is probably in this box. Oh God, wow. Yo, full Missouri, holy 
He hasn't gone to Armadale yet, but he's set when he does. 60 something dry, will this be an item? Fish Cow Dog has some scuffed gear to raid with on his hardcore Iron Man. No f way. No f way. No f way. Well, his gear isn't so scuffed anymore. The best item in the game. The new poll results are in and everything passed. Arlamore is going to be a huge expansion with the Hunter's Guild, new types of food that heal more as time passes, as well as expansions to existing creatures and gear like Larupia. Additionally, players will be able to unlock another Slayer block slot if they have 300 quest points. So now you don't have to choose between blocking worms or zygomites. Jagex just released a video on their Twitter account. That was a pretty epic trailer. So Leagues is coming back November 4th, this time as Trailblazer Reloaded. Get ready to choose your adventure in a new way. This week's update brought some big changes. We mentioned in the last video that target jumping in Bounty Hunter has finally been fixed. You can no longer special attack while target jumping. They also changed the permanent Deadman world in a few ways, adding the boosted quest experience and, most importantly, no more losing tons of XP every time you die. So the permanent Deadman mode world just became much more viable for long-term gameplay, and perhaps we'll even see some growth on the server. But the update came with some issues. Something weird is going wrong with the servers as you can see here because crash test Sophie's gems, well they turned into dwarf heads. This no longer appears to be an issue, but it was funny. If someone's only got one Inferno KC in 2023, bro, you know. And if someone's got two KC, you know. They've just paid for two of them. And if they've got three, they've just bought three because they're just trying to cover their tracks. If you've got more than three, you've got it legit. I have seven Inferno KCs on this account, so therefore mine is real. Sick Nerd is an amazing PVMer. Wow, that was close. Definitely a chance. He got to two hit points and was still tanking hits. According to him, this is his sixth chance in total, many of them from Tombs of a Masket. Let's hope he stays quick with the teleports. Greg has no food left, and his opponent has sick gear. He sends an AGS and watches the guy's prayers. Thank you, you ugly, horrible noob. The double AGS. The guy should have changed prayers. 211 mil. Pimmy Jage is back, and he's not happy with his Tears of Guthix this week. Damn it, stay in one place, dumb Hold still. Uh, finally. Victory is mine. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Pimmy Jage. Goose is pretending to be AFK in the Rev Caves with Darox on. He cares, just can't resist the call of the goose. And he takes away 171 mil. All right, Hydra, just cough it up. Cough up the goods. Taking my, I'll be taking my, my, my leather right here. Hold you. <laughs> that, that, like, it, it's got to, you just got to call it every time and it'll work eventually, you know? We all know that Dino has done hundreds of hours in the Rev Caves. Here, it's him against this guy named Nahuel, who has the agility shortcut. But Dino doesn't. He just has 80 agility, so he can't cross to the other side. I needed these hits a little bit. Where were these hits at the beginning? Wait. Sit the f 
down, buddy. Uh, I guess he didn't need the agility level after all. I stand corrected. Not sure what the loot was, but it seems like it was a good kill. I shout this out every time I do this. You can drop all of those gree grees that you've been saving in your bank because you don't want to make them again. You come talk to Zooknock up here. You ask him for a monkey talisman and you can claim any monkey talisman from him after you complete Monkey Madness 2, including the Kruk one. I didn't know that. Dang, foe coming in with the facts. Thanks, bud. Meanwhile, here with MMORPG. Yes, let's wow. go. Oh, let's go, all dude. Right, all, hey. right. All, right, hey. all right, all right, all right, all right. Get all it, right. my inventory right. right now. He gets his first basilisk jaw. The farmers are upgrading. And here we have Omega Pegasi, who made an animation from a Discord recording of his clan. Who cleared, who cleared the knots and only got three knots? Ask the other people how many knots they have. Four. See? See? Why'd you play the- It's pretty relatable. Some insane anti-PKs and rushes today. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next episode of RuneScape Chronicles.